Hello and welcome back to GoldStockTrades.com. Today we have a new and special guest with us, Steve DeYoung. Steve is CEO of Integra Gold. Integra can be traded as ICG on the TSX Venture and KALRF on the OTC. Thanks, Steve, for being here with us today. Thanks, Jeb. Steve, let's talk about your project where it's located in a world-class mining camp uh, and an excellent jurisdiction. Can you highlight where the project, the Lamac project, is located and why it's it's a real area of interest right now? The Lamac project is located uh, just outside the city limits of Valdor, Quebec. So Valdor being part of the um, gold belt that goes from Valdor all the, way, all the way through to Timmins, produced over 100 million ounces of gold, uh, one of the most prolific belts in the world obviously a great place to look for gold. Also being located in Quebec, one of the best jurisdictions uh, to explore for gold as well. A lot of tax benefits uh, in a government that's obviously safe, supports mining. Having having the jurisdictional benefits of being in Valdor is great, but also for where we're located, sitting just two kilometers outside of a, of a mining community of 35,000 people, we have the benefits of not only very experienced, uh, very qualified miners, um, explorers, but also we have the benefit of, of a lot of infrastructure. And a big part of our story is the infrastructure benefits we have, given that there's a lot of different um, facilities in the area that can process material from the Lamac project when we get through to that production stage. Steve, talk to us a little bit about the regional setting where the Lamac, uh, gold, pro Lamac gold project is located. Tell us about some of the other mines around this area. The most uh, the most prolific one these days, uh, the, or the one that you'll see the most, is, is the Asisco mine, the Malarctic mine, uh, just over 50 kilometers away. That's the, the hostile bit of the gold corp that's going through right now. That's the one you'll see in the news. Other big players in the area uh, include Nico Eagle. Nico Eagle's Gold X mine is eight kilometers away, and their their actual their tailings pipeline goes right across uh, the southern part of our project. Other than that, you'll see IM Gold is active in the area. And then Veldor's, uh, where it's located, it's, it's a jumping point for some of the northern mines. So you'll see Gold Corp's Eleanor Project. A lot of their people are, are based, or their families are based in Veldor. Uh, Hecla's Casa Berardi Project. Um, a lot of people go through Veldor as well. So you are looking at, uh, we like to think it's northern Quebec, but it's still in the southern half. Quebec's a very large province. <clears throat> Sorry, a very large province. You are looking at... Uh, one of the one of the mining hubs for the entire province. Steve, Steve, let's talk about the project, the Lamac project. It's a, a high-grade underground gold proje project, and it has some of the highest grades I I gold in in Quebec. <clears throat> well, the the Lamac project, just to uh, to go back to the history of it, the the city of Eldor exists because of of two mines, the Sigma mine and the Lamac mine, and the Lamac mine was tech and the Sigma mine was Placer Dome. These two mines produced since the 1930s for 50 and 60 years. Uh, they're only a few hundred meters apart from each other and collectively produced 9 million ounces of gold from underground uh, high-grade veins. Our project is a uh, high-grade underground, and it's the extension to Tex Lamac mine. So we are actually only a few hundred meters away from 9 million ounces of gold production. We have very similar geology to the, the Sigma and Lamac mines, and more so like the Lamac, but especially when one of our zones, uh, the Triangle Zone, is actually much higher grade. It's a discovery that was made by the company, um, so it was never discovered by tech, even though it was part of the original land package. But it's indicated grade that we've, we've put into the PA that we put out today is actually over 12 grams per ton. The inferred grade is 15 grams per ton. <clears throat> Steve, let's talk about the PEA that you recently put out. Tell us about some of the highlights from this economic assessment. Uh, what you'll see with this project is very seldom do you see in this market, uh, in a market that's been picked clean of all the low-hanging fruit, is a high-grade project with low capex and a safe jurisdiction. We've got, we've got high grade uh, in that, like I mentioned, the triangle is 12 grams and the parallel is 10 grams. We've got low capex. We're looking at about $70 million. That brings us to a production profile 
of uh, it maxes out. It averages 112,000 ounces per year. It maxes out at 143 ounces per year. And we're looking at obviously a safe jurisdiction. And being in Quebec, um, one of the safest, Quebec, Canada, one of the safest jurisdictions in the world. So the highlights are really uh, that low capex. You take the low capex and that high production, uh, that high production profile. Uh, because of the grade, it ends up being a low operating cost per ounce. And because of the infrastructure advantages of the area, it ends up being low capex. So we're looking at Canadian, just over $800 an ounce, including sustaining capital uh, and our cash costs. Steve, talk to us about the recently completed um, events that you that led up to this PEA and some uh, near-term corporate events going forward uh, in 2014. Well, one of the things that really sets us apart is it's you will not see a lot of sub fifty million dollar companies with six active drill rigs. Our drilling company is based in town, and we've. So, so we are very, very active drilling. We get very good rates drilling, and we're able to continue to uh, execute and deliver on those drill goals that we've, we've set out. This PEA, as it stands, uh, the, the resource cutoff was from, is April 2013, and since that point, we've drilled 30,000 meters. So we have a lot of drilling that we've got to put into an updated resource estimate. We actually have 10,000 meters uh, in pending assay results right now from recent drilling at that at the high grade triangle zone. So we're right now we're drilling between seven and nine thousand meters a month. That is equivalent to most companies, uh, to a lot of exploration companies, that would be a one year uh, budget or a one year program. So as as we move forward, investors can can <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, investors can, can expect to continue to see a steady flow of assay results. Uh, we'll be updating our resource estimate later this year, and once we've done that, we'll, we'll incorporate that into our PA. Let's just, before we conclude, let's talk a little bit about the valuation right now. Uh, you have about a $40 million market cap. You've had this strong relative performance uh, versus the, the Venture Index and other junior gold miners. Uh, are has 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 maybe the company run ahead of itself, or is it just the beginning of something that can be uh, some larger growth ahead? Jeb, I think what you're seeing now is you're, you're seeing a real divide in the market. Uh, it's almost like the last two years and the depressed precious metal market has really pulled the curtain back on our industry. And you've seen a, a significant separation between companies that are, are able to when, when the commodity prices are performing, are able to perform, and then companies are able to perform regardless of that. Integra's really separated itself, and, and like you mentioned, that we're sitting, getting towards um, two-year highs in our stock price, but we're just at the start of our, we like to think we're at the start of our trend as the PA being the first step towards um, a, a number of very strong catalysts that are going to happen in the company moving forward. Per ounce, you could, you could definitely argue per ounce, our valuation is a lot stronger than a lot of companies in the area, but you could have had the same argument six and 12 months ago, and our, and our share price has continued to climb through that as a company in a very tough market has been able to deliver. One, one thing for companies, that, for exploration companies, the most important thing in a, in a depressed market is your ability to find capital and to continue to explore, because if we're an exploration company but we're not actually exploring or adding value, it's hard to justify asking someone to invest in us. And what you've seen is Integra has been able to, throughout this market, has raised uh, about, about $20 million in the last year and been able to put that into the ground and create value with it. So going forward, you can rely on the fact that uh, Integra does have strong support and will, will continue to deliver. Steve DeYoung, CEO of Integra Gold, which can be traded as ICG on the TSX Venture and as K-A-L-R-F on the OTC. Thanks so much for being here with us today. Thank you, Jeff.